There is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to set yourself apart from other people. It becomes a problem when you start accusing everyone around you of copying you in an age of social media in which we are all taking ideas from each other and originality isn't really a thing anymore. Does that matter? Absolutely not. But I think that this whole like wanting to be different so bad is getting people in into a lot of trouble. So that would just be like me coming onto social media and putting somebody on blast because they copied the shape of my eyebrow, except my eyebrows are pretty much the default alternative eyebrows at this point. When you see that people are taking inspiration from you or copying you, yes, while it can be annoying, it is most definitely not what has happened here. So in case you don't know what is going on, there are two TikTokers that do a lot of crafty stuff, home DIY, Pinterest sort of qua, if you will, okay? Now, one of those TikTokers has come forward and basically put another TikToker on blast because this TikToker was getting DMs that this other TikToker was copying her. I'm about to be so petty and I've never done something like this before, but there is a large creator who it's just getting out of hand. So this is my mossy mirror that I made. And immediately she makes this, which is like fine. But but that is literally like on everyone's Pinterest boards at this point, that moss mirror. The first time that I ever saw that moss mirror trending was like a couple of years ago on Pinterest. So you're not original with that. And you can have an original piece that you do that of course takes inspiration from this, that, and the third. But this chick did not copy you, sweetheart. She did not copy you at all. In fact, those mirrors mirrors look completely different. The only thing that they have in common is the moss. Which is like, fine. That's what the coincidence, whatever. Um, I have this green squiggle art gallery and now she does too. That again, like that green squiggle is literally on trend with like pastel artsy girl core. It's just, she, she didn't copy you. Now, okay, if she is posting videos, you know, a, a day after you're posting videos of what you're doing to your house, okay, that is a little bit weird. But at the same time, you did not make any of these up. And you also have to understand too, that all of your quote unquote original ideas are from somewhere else. Like nothing is truly original nowadays. I'm sorry, that may be like a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but where are all taking inspiration from somewhere. Should people have shame in that? Should people feel bad about that? Absolutely not. And I feel like this is just a really childish thing to do because it would be exactly like me getting onto my YouTube channel being like, oh my God, this girl is copying my makeup and my hair. Okay, if she is to look like an exact clone of me, in that case, I'm not even making a video. I'm calling the police. But like, you know, this shit isn't that deep and and it's not original to you. The difference is she's hanging something else. So that's different. That's yeah, and you, you're literally stating there that it is different. So what's the problem? They're green squiggly lines, bro. Like, are you going to go barge into a preschool and start like choking kids out because they're drawing green squiggly lines? Like creative. Um, but she's also ripping off my boyfriend's art. So that's my boyfriend's art. I have a monster head art gallery. He makes monster heads. They're so realistic and beautiful. This is her version. This is her monster head art gallery. Then I painted my room green. I'm gonna be so real right now. That other, okay, so we're we're looking at Tay and Kareen. The heads don't look anything alike. It strikes me very, very weird because this sets kind of a, a tone, right? So if there is someone who has, let's just say, a little bit of a similar idea to someone else, does this make it okay for people to call out someone else for copying, even though it's not copying because it's not original? Like, exact 
replicas down to the T, something different. But Kareen's sculptures are of dinosaurs and they don't look as intricate as your boyfriend's. Like there has to be some level of like narcissism there to really believe that this chick is watching your every move to copy you and steal your vibe. Your vibe is Pinterest and that is completely 100% okay. But I don't know, just like this isn't copying. They're, I'm sorry, it's not copying. My room, green and blue, they're very abnormal color choices. And no, the f they're not. They are not abnormal color choices. Blue and green are like, they are very similar colors. What? And I got a lot of hate for it, but I really love it. And I spent months choosing the colors. Look at what colors she's doing for her kitchen. And she's painting her appliances. Um, so that's just like another weird coincidence. And she hung up this cake wallpaper. That just happens to be my actual wallpaper line that I have. Look at this. I mean, okay, you could possibly say that the other girl was copying her here. But genuinely, who cares? Who cares? It is wallpaper. Wallpaper. That you can buy. Wallpaper. I cannot wait till one of you go ahead and buys the same exact black eyeliner that I do from Kmart. And if you wear it, just know that I will be literally putting you on blast tomorrow. Okay. You can't do that. That's my eyeliner. I don't think you understand. That is my eyeliner. Bitch. Be actually real. Be so for real right now. Like, don't get me wrong. I hate that saying as much as the next person. It is just like saying that someone who goes and buys a t-shirt that was made for everybody to wear is copying. It is not copying. Like to also set myself apart with makeup, hair and whatever, but it's nothing original. Nothing about that is original. And you know, don't get me wrong. I understand the frustrations whenever it's like someone who's really obsessive and, you know, starts copying you because there are instances of that. But that's not what we're talking about here today. We're talking about two separate creators who make similar content already. And like, again, we take makeup influencers, for example, right? They all pretty much do the exact same thing, but they're all different people doing it differently. Just like this other woman, Kareen, is doing shit differently other than you, Tay. And like, I get it, the cake wallpaper, but it's out there for people to buy, okay? So I wanted to see if Kareen had responded to this because if I was like a, I don't know, a, what are these people? They're like lifestyle DIY influencers. And I bought this like pink chair because this pink chair just rocks. And then some idiot made a video about how like, oh my God, like I bought a pink chair and then Caitlyn decides to buy a pink chair. I would just be very confused because this pink chair is for everyone to buy. You didn't make this pink chair. Office works did. Um, so I'm getting like a lot of DMs and comments and stuff and I haven't seen this video um, because she posted it and then blocked me. So I don't really know. What's being said about me? I mean, block whoever you want. That feature is there for you to use and abuse, you know? But posting a very serious allegation against somebody that they are copying you can really damage somebody's career in, you know, doing this kind of content creation because then people can look at you and be like, oh shit, she's just a copier. Like she doesn't have any sort of originality whatsoever. And that is just not the case because Tay did start off her video by saying not to be petty or anything and then continues to be petty. Be petty, do all of that, do exactly what you want, but at least have the, you know, steel pussy walls to really get behind what you're saying. But I know I'm getting like a lot of really mean and hateful like comments and messages now. And I'm like not going to be, I'm not going to come on here and like cry and be like, feel sorry for me. But I'm, I guess I'm just like really disappointed because I really genuinely like this creator. And she was like, oh no, see, that's another issue. It's like, you know, we all take inspiration from somewhere. Just like whenever I get into my trad goth get up, a lot of my inspiration comes from Susie Sue. And if she was to stand up on her social media and just be like, this bitch is copying me. First of all, like, hi, Susie. 
Hi, babe. But second of all, that would just be so soul crushing. I can't believe that. One of the first people I followed on here that I was really like, wow, like this decor style is so cool. It is so colorful and so fun. And just really encouraged me to like actually express myself. And um, we have talked over message and stuff. And like, she was so nice. And, and about two months ago, she did ask me not to do any of her DIYs, which like, I totally understood. And I was like, that's totally fine. Like, I sorry, no, no. Don't do any of my DIYs. Don't post them to social media then. What is the point of creating content about your DIYs? Understand that you don't ha like own any of that. You, you don't own these ideas unless you're to go out there and formally copyright these pieces, which these people don't do. They just don't want someone else to be getting the numbers that they sh should be getting, that they feel they should be getting. And that's very selfish. You know, th one of the best ways to grow is by literally encouraging people to do those DIYs. Well, I, I don't get it. I really do get it. Um, and it was just like a really pleasant interaction. Like I said, she was so nice. And I didn't know, like, we had issues or that she was feeling like this. But I will say, like, we have very similar styles. Like, I love her. I'm so inspired by her. And I think it's so crazy to say that no one else can decorate like in color or have similar colors to you and it automatically being me like maliciously copying her i just wish she had come to me privately like i'm so frustrated like i don't even know what's being said about me i have lots of squiggles in my home that was inspired from her i absolutely loved it and I think to be like a content creator on here, some of that comes with if you're branding yourself as a DIY channel, do this yourself. Here's how I did it. Here's the links for the supplies. And then to say no one can be inspired off of you is just wrong. And then to like- It's not even wrong, babe. Just call it how it is. It's stupid. She's being a dickhead. Shit, like, uh, that is so terrible to make somebody feel like they are an unoriginal copying, lying piece of shit when they're a fan of yours. Like, especially because she just said that they both have had interactions. And then for Tay to proceed to say to her to like not do any of my DIYs, then what is the point of you having a DIY channel? Like I, I, I welcome, you know, shit being said about me because I choose to put myself out here online. Hi, I'm Caitlin Stewart. Nice to meet you. And people aren't going to like you. People are going to love you. People are going to hate you. And most of all, people are going to copy you. They are going to take inspiration from you. Just because you don't get the clout, the likes, the whatever from that doesn't mean that you should go ahead and contact someone and say, actually, you know, I do post these videos for other people to do. These little peasants who don't have any followers, but you, you have a following, you're a creator. You can't do that. No, f you. You give people permission inherently by being a content creator to copy you. Once again, if any of y'all in the audience chooses to, I don't know, cut your bangs like mine. I don't know, do your eyebrows like mine. I don't know, dye your hair like mine. My message to anyone who is wanting to be a content creator, this is what comes with it. People are going to copy you. You know why? Because you're obviously a tastemaker. You obviously have something that people really like and you should embrace that. But no, I don't get why. Was it because her videos got more likes and views? And if that's the case, wow, that shit really isn't that important. To like publicly shame someone for being inspired by you without them even knowing you have any issues is just so wrong. I won't say like I'm not in the wrong anywhere because I'm sure that I am, but- You're in the wrong where though. Here's the thing, I wish people would stand up for themselves a bit more instead of going this route of being, you know, super, I'm sure I did so No, you didn't, you actually categorically didn't do anything wrong in this situation, nor did you copy it down to the exact details except the cake wallpaper. The cake wallpaper is out there for millions of people to buy and put up in their homes. I personally don't like it. I don't like that cake 
wallpaper. But at the same time, when you look up to somebody and you feel very inspired by somebody, you're going to take things from them and incorporate that into your own house, your own personality, your own style. What is the actual point of being a content creator, especially a DIY content creator, to tell people to not do what you're doing? Because in that case, stop posting videos. Do whatever you want. At the end of the day, none of us are original. We can all lie to ourselves and say that, oh, I'm so different. Like, trust me, guys. Like, I made this up. I'm the creator. No. No, because it's 2023. Like shit has been done so much at this point. Who is actually original? And I think that's what gets these people who have such a individuality complex is that they get so ass mad whenever they realize that they're not that individual. They're not that different. And that's okay. That is okay. You know, you should embrace that your Tay. You know what I mean? No one else can be you. People can, you know, take inspiration from you, but no one can be you as a human being. So embrace that instead. With that being said, everybody, um, I'm going to go skull the rest of this Red Bull and uh, I'm also going to go eat. <laughs> I love how whenever I do videos, I go eat straight after. Um, eat, beautiful people. Eating is so hot. It, it genuinely is. So um, with all that being said, take care of yourselves. Take inspiration from whoever the f not, none of us are that different. None of us are the same, but none of us are original. Okay, so take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.